So guys, I baked peanut butter and chocolate cookies today and I realized I'm a professional chef. Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Priscilla and I make fate related videos, I guess, and covers. I make those too. And comedy sometimes when I'm feeling funny. I have decided to make a video about coronavirus because I think this is something we can all relate to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh. Seriously, you guys, the pigeons in Dublin, Ireland, are the size of cats. And I'm not joking. They're like this. It's freaky. It's terrifying. Okay. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, you guys. My name is Priscilla, if you did not know. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It is always a pleasure to have you here. And I'm so excited about today's video because it's gonna be about something we can all relate to. So I thought I could bring you guys some words of encouragement if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling sad, if you're feeling anxious about the future. That is all fine, that is all okay. I am too, I am. But the cool thing about God is that his promises don't change and we can still rely on him and we can still trust him no matter what we're going through. So I thought I could bring you guys some words of encouragement, some Bible verses to help you during this time because that is something that we should all be doing with each other, uplifting and encourage each other and really pray for each other. So if you do like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so that I know that you guys like these kind of videos and so that I can make more. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below with any ideas, any suggestions that you guys might have. I'm always looking forward to those and I really appreciate your feedback. So yeah, let me know any ways that I can pray for you guys too because that's so important that we lift each other up in prayer. So if you guys want me to pray for anything, do let me know in the comments down below and I will gladly pray for you so without any further ado, let's go into the video because I have a lot to talk about. I have all of this to talk about. So I just want to start with a little disclaimer. I'm going to be talking about the Christian perspective. So what I'm going to be talking about is my perspective of the whole pandemic and how I believe we can trust God throughout all of this. So if you're not a Christian, or if you don't agree with me, it's totally fine. That's okay. Um, I respect your opinion as you should respect mine as a Christian. So I'm going to base myself on the Bible with the things that I'm gonna be saying. I'm gonna give you Bible verses so you can read and meditate on them as well. Um, whatever we're saying, whatever we're doing, we should always look up to the Bible and see what God is saying about that situation. So I feel like that's really important. Also, I would like to say that I know a lot of people are being affected with the whole coronavirus situation. I personally am not, and I'm so thankful for it because I still have my job, I still have my house. My family is not being affected by it. So I'm really thankful to be in the situation that I am. The healthcare professionals, the people who still have to work because they're considered um, essential workers, People who have lost family members, who have lost friends, um, who are dealing with the virus themselves and trying to survive. I would really encourage you guys to pray for those people. I'll be doing the same because it's such an important time for us to do that and to show the light as Christians um, of what we believe in. So first thing that I want to say is it's so important that we understand that during this time we don't have any more distractions. We're home. I'm home. I am basically home 24 seven now and I believe you guys are too. It's a very hard scenario because we all are constantly on the go and we have people to see, places to be, and things to do. All of a sudden, we don't have people to see and places to be and things to do. We have to stay home, <laughs> which is a struggle because we're not used to this, but it's what's currently being asked for us to do. This is a time when we're at home and we're not alone. God is still with us. We have to deal with ourselves, but we also have to deal with God. And a lot of things that God has been trying to teach us, has been trying to tell us. And we have been too busy with distractions, with people, with places to be, and with our chores, with our routine, with everything that's going on. We have been too busy to listen to what he has to say. And I feel like this time is the time when you're really gonna start listening to God if you want to. It is so important that we prioritize God in this time that we're living in. 
because I truly believe that God is getting rid of all the distractions so that we can really spend more time with Him. And I mean like quality time, not just time with Him. Not just like reading the Bible for five minutes and praying to God and staying in silence for five minutes and saying, God, speak to me. Okay, time's up. I'm guilty. I've done this in the past. But I'm really trying to focus on God and really spend more time with Him. I want to look back at this time and see that I really spent my time the wisest way possible and that I spent more time with God than anything else. One thing that I really want to mention is that, and I know a lot of Christians don't really agree with this. Um, I know this is kind of a sensitive topic, but I'm going to speak about it anyways. Um, I personally believe that God is in control of every situation. He knows what's going on. He knows what's going to happen in our lives and that what we're going to have to go through. I personally believe in all those things because I believe in a sovereign God. And His sovereignty is something that I really, that really brings ease and peace into my heart. Because I know that whatever I go through, whatever I have to face, he will always be with me. He will always be in control of that situation. So what I'm trying to say is that he will use everything, even the bad circumstances, even the things that we don't want to really deal with. He's going to use that in our favor. And that's really, that's something really cool about God, that he uses even these things in our favor. And I know it's hard. I know it's something weird to be thinking like this. But wait, like thousands of people are dying and a lot of people lost their jobs, lost their homes. The world is a mess. And how is God using this for his purpose? How does God have a purpose with all of this? Because this is like messed up. I know this is a very difficult situation that we're going through, but I truly believe that God is in control. If God is in control, then he can say coronavirus stop and it will stop. It's really comforting for me to know that God is in control and that he has this whole thing in the palm of his hand. So. That's really encouraging for me, at least. And I want to share with you guys a Bible verse. So Proverbs chapter 16, verse 33 says, The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. What does this tell us? It tells us that God is in control. If God doesn't want us to be over yet, then what is he trying to teach me? What is he trying to tell me during this time when I don't have any distractions, when I have more time to spend with him? So that's really something that has been encouraging me. I've been meditating on the word as I haven't in a very long time. And let me tell you, God has really been speaking to me and it's amazing. So regarding my previous point about people who are suffering with this thing and who are being affected by the whole situation, I really want to leave with you guys a Bible verse, which is in Psalms. So in Psalm 91, I really want to to share with this with you guys Psalm 91 verse 9 to 12 it says if you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the most high your dwelling no harm will overtake you no disaster will come to your tent for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone I feel like this is so encouraging because it literally says no harm will overtake you so this is a promise from God and it really says that he is with us and that he goes before us and that he will not let any harm overtake us. God did not say it was going to be easy. God did not say that we wouldn't have trials in this world. But he said instead that he was always going to be with us. So if you believe that he's with you and if you believe that everything happens for a reason, then I really want to encourage you to really try to see what's beyond and to ask the Lord, okay, God, what is this? What is it that you're trying to tell me? What is it that you're trying to teach me during this whole situation? Is it to trust more in you? Is it to spend more time with you? Is it to learn how to listen to you? Is it to love my neighbor as I love myself and as you love them? What is it that you're trying to tell me? What is it that you're trying to teach me during this time? Because I really want to hear are we looking at the circumstances and the things that people are saying or are we trusting his promises and trusting everything that he says he has for us I want to encourage you to have faith over fear the spirit of the Lord is not a spirit of fear feed your faith and not your fear because if you feed one more than the other it's gonna grow and it's gonna dominate over the other if you feed your fear with the news with things that people are saying 
but guess what that's what's gonna be bigger and that's what's gonna grow and I want to share a Bible verse with you which is in Jeremiah where's Jeremiah oh here it is Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and it says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and the future and I don't know about you, but this is so encouraging. This really shows me that the Lord has something much bigger prepared for us and that he doesn't want us to despair. He doesn't want us to have fear in the midst of all of this, but he wants us to really trust his word and trust his promises and know that he has plans for us that haven't even crossed our minds. I really want to look back at this time and be like, okay, I have done what I could. I've spent a lot of time with the Lord. I've spent a lot of time reading His Word and really meditating on it. And it's so important to have your eyes focused on Jesus at this time because that's the only way you're gonna really trust Him and really be at ease and just at peace and know that He is in control of everything and that He will be fine. And since we're talking about His promises, I feel like it's so cool to talk about His this one particular promise and that is that he will always be with us and how cool is that he lives in us so he's always with us obviously but he literally says that he will be with us in every circumstance in every situation and this is no exception so I want to share with you guys let me show you of course this was a different context but um, I really believe that this can be applied to today so Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 6 says says be strong and courageous do not be afraid or terrified because of them for the Lord your God goes with you he will never leave you nor forsake you and I feel like this is so good you guys this is so encouraging this literally tells you that whatever you're going through whatever you face in life God is going to be with you God is going before you God is going to lead you. God is going to guide you and guide your steps. This really encourages me and this really makes me believe that God is such a good God and that he's always with us and that no matter what we're going through, he's still gonna be with us. He's still gonna have a plan and still gonna have a purpose for our lives and for the whole situation that we're going through, he's still going to have a purpose. And that is so important to remember and during these times where we're like, oh my gosh, why is this happening? Why is this not ending? So I really want to challenge you guys to instead of focusing on when all of this will be over, trust me, I really want this to be over too. But what I've been thinking and what God has been showing me these past couple of days is that he has a plan, he has a purpose. and since he's sovereign then he's allowing all of this to happen so that he can work i really want to encourage you guys to pray to him and to listen to what he has to say and really ask him okay god what is it that you're trying to teach me what is it that you're trying to show me during this time during this difficult time is it that you want me to seek you more is it that you want me to spend more time with you to listen to you uh, is it that you want me to love my neighbors as you love them is it that you want me to love myself as you love me? What is it that you're trying to tell me, God? What is it that you're trying to do during this time so that I can look back and really see that you spoke to me in a real way? I've been feeling super encouraged with this word and it's really been teaching me to trust God in everything and to realize that I'm not in control of every situation. And if I really want to, live my life according to God's will, then I need to let go of control and I need to trust him. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and if it was encouraging for you guys, please let me know. I would love to pray for you guys, so please do let me know in the comments down below any situation that you might be experiencing, anything that you might be going through so that I can pray for you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye!